No, right, man. Hey. I got you. You got me. things don't name any schools
Hey, check, check. Mic check, one, two. Let's see if we got everything working. Of course, we don't. So I will fix this real fast. Here we go, here we go. Good, good. Are we getting here? There we go. Sorry about that, man. You know, there's always something. Is what it is, always something. Uh, my name's Nate Allball. I'm a high school football coach here in Illinois and have been for many years. And uh, I run Chief Pigskin and uh, have had a lot of fun doing so. Somebody asked me why I do it. Well, I get one main thing out of two main things. Number one, I get education out of this. Number two, I get life out of this. I meet people, I talk ball, it's exciting to be a part of. Um, I travel, like all those things that are a ton of fun, a ton of fun. And uh, those are the main two things I get out of it. Uh, so, and thankfully, thankfully, 10 years later if to uh, doing it, it does pay for itself. So I no longer have to invest my own money and it pays for itself. So it's a hobby, unlike golf that doesn't cost me anything. I get life out of it. I get education out of it and I just love it. We are live right now and I'm live from my basement in Tolono, Illinois. It's especially summer break and it feels so good to be on summer vacation. And I got a special guest tonight, Ty Gower, who uh, spoke for the online clinic some two years ago. And um, in case you're not familiar with the online clinic, the online clinic, clinic.chiefpigskin.com. I travel around like crazy and um, guys do presentations. And then they put their, present, pre, their presentations go on the online clinic. Uh, well, once a guy's presentation has been on the online clinic for at least a year, he does have the option to move it over into our store, and after his videos being in our uh, clinic for two years, he, uh, Ty Gower decided to move his videos over to our store, and uh, those just launched over at the store, and uh, with a good amount of attention too, and, and rightfully so. It's uh, blitzes and tools for your playbook. Blitz and coverage tools for your playbook. You'll see the link to those videos below. If you enjoy getting to know Coach Gower, you feel like uh, he's someone you'd like to learn more from, definitely check out his videos. Of course, the price is awesome because that's how we do it at Chief Pigskin. Um, but we're gonna talk install. We're gonna talk like installing your defense, period, right? Coach Gower's defense is a 3-4, but yours doesn't have to be a 3-4 in order for you to be a part of this conversation or to enjoy this conversation or to get something from this. This is about, it's just talking. How do you start things off? Like what are those building blocks to building your defense? For me, I've always felt like those first couple of days of practice are very important. Uh, let's go get coach into the, into the chat here. Admit, and we'll go meet coach Gower. Coach Gower, here he is. I'm gonna go switch my view to gallery view. Let's see how this looks on the screen. Let me go switch my screen around here. I can enlarge this. This is this tough. I, I can never I can never grab the screen I'm trying to grab here on my there we go. Welcome, Coach Gower. How What's are you? Man? Dude, we're glad to have you. I'm having some technical difficulties. I, I'll just blame someone else. It's someone else's fault, but um Good news is everybody can see you and hear you and can see me and hear me. My screen doesn't look as pretty as I like it to look, but oh well. For all of you guys that are here watching, let us know where you're watching from. We are live. I'm live and I'm in Tolono, Illinois. Coach, where are you at right now? And I'm, in, I'm in Texas right now, uh, northeast side of, uh, well, McKinney area, so northeast side of DFW. Okay. Um, so Dallas area and coach has coached uh, for many years in Oklahoma high school football, Texas high school football, longtime defensive coordinator. Um, has it all been at the high school level, coach? As a coordinator, yeah. Uh, I spent two years um, as DB coach at, uh, well, GA, GA DB coach, secondary coach at, at Henderson State University. Um, that was, man, 2011, like 2010, 11, I guess. Um, so, uh, that was my, my my two years of college experience being GA, and it was, uh, man, it was a lot of fun. It, it really was. I, I, literally, my address was the office, literally. Like, that's where I laid my head down at night. Like, that's that's the true story. So, um, but yeah, but like I said, been in Oklahoma for a long time. Coach Kid, Oklahoma. Um, born and raised in Oklahoma. Made my way down here to Texas, I guess, two going on three years ago now. 
Well, Coach, we're glad to have you, man. And I was telling the guys that um, we moved your videos over into our store, and uh, they had a great first month on the store. Anybody that, as you get to know Coach Gower, uh, if you like the way you know, you like the way he thinks, and you'd like to know more about his offense, that link is below. Uh, but we're going to talk install now. I say that it's really more so. The 3-4 install is more like a conversation starter for us, right? We really just want to hang out 30 minutes every night. We want people to get to know you. We just like we want to hang out with our guys that like to join us live. Uh, speaking of which, anybody that's joining us live here in the chat, be sure to check in and let us know where you're watching from. We'll be live tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, all with Coach Gower, just talking some defensive install, man. Hey, so you're... Now, I told the guys too, I said, you're a, you're a three, four, or you, you have based out of a three, four, but really this is going to be so much bigger than just like three, four per se. It's about, you know, what's important to you defensively, but let's just go ahead and, and kick the conversation off tonight, coach, with what line. made you yeah. base out of a three, four? How long have you based out of a three, four or what took you there? Man, you know, I gotta be honest. If I don't, if I don't give homage to, you know, it's kind of where I cut my teeth. Um, you know, when, uh, when I started interstate, we were four three. You know, we were four down even front. Uh, from there, went to Broken Arrow secondary coach. And, uh, we were we were same idea. You know, a lot of uh, nickel rules. Um, you know, four four three four two five two two high shell type of deal. A lot of the Pelini stoops, uh, Venables Burbage terminology, and um, so for for I guess four years of, of uh, my coaching career, I guess we, you know, I didn't know anything else. I mean, it was it was even front shade three, playing some double twos, um, but in 2014 was able to uh, get my first coordinator job and acting like I knew what I was doing, and um, you know, went to the three four. You know, was at a smaller school in Oklahoma, and, and you know, people kind of say, you know, why the four three versus the three four? Well, for me, it kind of started personnel. In our hallways, there was a bunch of those nickel, dime, outside linebacker types, and uh, you know, not very, I don't say not very many, but not not enough four down guys, you know? And now we train, you know, we were training some guys to play, you know, that hybrid five technique and getting the four down stuff. But, um, so it kind of started by accident in 2014, you know, it really did. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, we all threw darts. We threw darts at the board and hoped it, hoped it would stick. And then after that season 15 is when, when we really sold out to it, you know, um, where we finally figured, you know, I say figured some things out and, and met with some people. And it was different, man. It, it was it was like speaking a foreign language, you know, going from uh, gapped out run fits, playing shade and three to playing odd front, playing four eyes, you know, like the tide or whatever anybody calls it right now, four eyes, zero, four eye. And it was different. You know, it was different philosophy, verbiage, terminology, figuring stuff out of how we want to fit this. And, um, you know, the, the two high structure kind of stays the same. We're playing the same coverages. Mm -hmm. But implementing the three down, you know, a lot of people play a five shade, a four eye, and bring the fourth somehow, right? Or they play a four, zero, four, and they're somehow stunting and slanting movement. When we started, it was it was base. We were playing technique. We are playing four eye, zero, and four eye. Um, because it turned into from a personnel standpoint, but two, the schematic of it. It made offenses hard. You know, it, 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 if, if you notice on Twitter, all the offensive guys, well, they all draw. They all draw a four, two set, right? Because it's easy to block back that shade. It's easy to block back that three technique, right? They've got bubbles. You know, there's a bubble between the shade and the five, and there's a bubble between the shade and the three. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you know, I get you can cancel gaps, you can twist and stunt and move and do all that stuff. But that was one deal that, that we wanted to get away from was number three, we auto, always autoed everything. We always had to cancel gaps when we were in a four down front, you know? And by playing a four I, zero, four I, we're not having to cancel gaps. You know, the, both A's and both B's are closed, you know? Uh, and so, you know, well, what about the C and what about the D gaps? Well, that's where we kind of had to figure out how to set some rules and set some off the back and, and how to how to coach that up. So that was kind of, I guess, your three main ideas of why we went odd front. Well, we'll start kind of diving in, you know, one step at a time. But anybody in the chat, of course, we want to welcome you guys. I see there's a handful of guys here. Um, would love for you guys to check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Literally just type in the chat, hey, I'm watching from. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm here in Tolono, Illinois. Coach is near Dallas. 
That's in Texas, in case you didn't know. I guess I, I do have to say that now because we have begun to get a little bit of an international audience, uh, which has been a lot of fun. Um, well, Coach, when I look at, if I was, let's say, and, and here's the thing. So I've been a head football coach for 11 years. Um, I would love to, I, I, tr I think that eventually I'll be a head football coach again. Um, and as a head coach, you know, if, if you're good, you lose your coordinators if you're good. I mean, you know, it's just, it's kind of how it goes. If you have a good program, you lose your coordinators. And uh, now you got to find a new coordinator. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome some of the guys in the house. Welcome to Grant Trainowitz out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Welcome Bobby Cur Curran out of Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Glad to have you guys. Thank you so much for, uh, for chiming in. Be sure to ask any questions that come to mind for you guys, uh, or even if you're having conversation amongst yourself, whatever, wherever the conversation leads, uh, we're happy to take it. Coach, as I was saying, you lose your coordinators, right? So now you got to replace them. If I was, if I had like three, if I brought in three guys and I said, you get to give me in 30 seconds, help me understand what you're doing defensively and what's important to you and why it's successful. Now I know 30 seconds is almost no time. So if you go over and take 40 seconds, that's okay. But what would be that fast summary of, okay, here's our defense. Yeah, like I said, you know, one one of one play odd front, one play odd front structure. Number one, it's harder on offense. You know, uh, the, the, instead of pulling the guard, they pull a tackle. You know, an advantage call. It. Um, two, want to make it very very difficult uh, schematic wise on on offenses. You know, I, I I've always been a big believer of install, 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 and 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 that goes for spring, summer, fall. Uh, that that you know, getting to part two is we're going to coach, we're going to teach, and we're going to we're going to believe we can install anything. You know, we're, we're going to find cutoffs, we're going to find teach tapes, we're going to find all 22 stuff that, that we believe we can implement. Now, will we have success with it? That's TBA. But I want to be able to know we at least attempt it, we at least try it. Now, there's that fine line of, of overkill and underkill, but I always want to be on the line that, hey, we're going to overkill. So you got to, you know, to me, I want to, I want everybody to be on board with that. And that's my tool. That's where I came from as a coach's kid, as a GA, when I was a broken arrow that we installed, installed, you know. And then part three, Part three is, is, you know, stress, when I say stress your kids, you know, stress the fundamentals, stress the drill work, stress the technique, stress that we are going to beat our opponent, not just through fundamentals and drill, and that's the whole, you know, you go to your clinic and, and, and everybody's got the great drill work and the great culture and the great, and that's, and that's, that's all wonderful, it's all great, but what are you doing to one up your opponent through scheme, through playbook, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so that's, that's kind of, um, my, my three 30 seconds, I guess. I'm well sure. well yeah. said, Coach. You're hired. Mike Stoffer in the house says hi to you out of Riverside, California. He says hi. Welcome, guys. Anybody else, if you're just getting here, be sure to check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, we go live for just 30 minutes. We're live tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, all with myself and Coach Gower. We're talking install. Coach is a 3-4 guy, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily all about 3-4. That's just kind of the conversation starter. So coach, let's say I'm the head coach, I've hired you, you're the DC. And you know, you now know night number one, let's say it's June, and, and again, I know every state handles summer football differently. Um, but let's just, I'll, I'm just gonna do it from my own lens, how things work here in Illinois. In Illinois, you get your kids as soon as school is out, and uh, you know, we're usually a lot, most, the, the norm is we're strength training in the mornings and two or three days a week. We start getting together in the evenings, and uh, there you might have an hour with your defense, right? There's no pads or anything, and we're really gearing up for late June seven on sevens. So, coach, oh, first of all, Alexandre Ribeiro in the house checking in from Brazil. Coach, remember I said we're international fans now. Um, welcome, Coach Ribeiro. Glad to have you, Coach Gower. So uh, it's early June. You're at a new school, and you're getting to to do something with your defense, you're getting about an hour's time. Like this is true night one stuff. What do you want to get done in this first night of meeting kids? And what do we want to do? Yeah, we, we want, we want them to understand our, our word families, okay, our word association, um, how we call our fronts, our, our blitzes, stunts, and our coverage, right? Everything has a word association, everything. And, and some guys that, that I've talked to, they know certain things that we call things. And, um, the first night I want our kids to be able to, what I call relate the concept, 
right? Relate the terminology that means, hey, when we call this, we know that we're in a four I, zero, four I. In our, in our backers, our stations adjust based off two by two, three by one, two back, whatever it may be. And so the first thing that we get into, like I said, hey, we're an odd front, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, coach, what's an odd front, right? So now you gotta teach, well, it's a three, four, okay? Well, is it a three, four or is it, you know, for me, we're a three, four structure, but we're a three, three, five personnel. So our Sam nickel star, whatever your word is, is he's like a DB. Like we kind of convert him to a, to a DB. So he's kind of one of our safety hybrid type guys, right? Our jack backer, our, our boundary weak side backer, he's like our six nine technique, right? And so, so as you're you know you're meeting with your coaches and your head coach and kind of feeling out where people go or where they mm -hmm. played the previous year, hey man, and you're coaching your kids up. Here's why I want you here. Here's why you would be best here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's really really big. And then for that reason, now we break up as either staff or, or position wise or whatever it may be, and we're relaying the concept. Okay, or if we call an S blitz, it's a five man pressure from the, from the strong side. We call it W blitz, it's a weak, it's a it's a five man pressure from the weak side, mm -hmm. right? And so that's really, really one big thing that I'm really big into is, is everything has a word association. Everything has um, a word family to it. Um, so that's, that's, that's what's big for me um, on the first night. Well, I want to say hi to Coach Steve in the house, checking in out of uh, Chicago land area. William Papp in the house out of Flint, Michigan. Welcome. And uh, Coach Gardner in the house out of Park City, Utah. Welcome. Glad to have you guys. Co and and uh, again, in chat, feel free to chime in if you have any questions or comments of your own. Chime in at any time. We're talking right now about if you're at a new place and you're installing from scratch, tell me, Coach, night number one, you got your coaches ready, Talking word association. Are you going to come together on night number one you, to do any sort of team stuff? Well, like how how do you like to handle it? Yeah. So so for me, um, you know, I stole this from the Alabama playbook. You know, it's been out. It's it's all over Twitter, and you know, you can Google it. But you know, talking about the seven steps in which in which they teach their kids, right? <laughs> to where you're going to see it on paper. So you're going to see a playbook copy of. Of here's the idea, okay. Then you're going to see, you're gonna see a, a cut up of, right? And I've been at this place and that place, and I'm going on, I don't know what, ten years now. So I've got cut up of a whole bunch of stuff that we're gonna implement and install, right? Sure. And then, so we're gonna do it, you know. So we're gonna see it on paper, the board, we're gonna see it on film. Then we're gonna go up to pre-practice, right? All together, and that's step three. We're all, we're all gonna do it. It's a walkthrough. So if you're an untrained mind, you're going, they're sitting around doing nothing. No, we are. It's just a lot of walking, talking, using your brain, you know? And I, I'm a big pre prax I'm a big mental guy, mm -hmm. you know? Um, four is now you're gonna go do your indie work, okay? So now you've taken one, two, three, now it's four. So you're going to your outside linebacker coach, your safety coach, your D-line coach, whatever it may be, and that's four, okay? Five is where we come to get, is, is a half line, group pod work, mm -hmm. okay, right? Six is where it's all team, it's 11 on 11, okay? Or team set, when I say 11, it's seven on seven, 11 yeah, on sure. 11 teams, right? And then step seven is where, okay, we're ready to break, we all shower up, now it's time to go back in the film room and evaluate practice. Okay. okay? Yeah, that's the, look, pay, pay homage to where you learned it from, this, this is from the Alabama playbook, which I know they stole it. Yeah. Where they stole so you, you would want to be following that format day one of summer. Absolutely. We want to follow that format. So Absolutely. give me an idea day one of summer. Again, I, I don't even feel like we're like day one of August yet. Right. True start of season. Day one learning. What are the, is it one, is it two, is it three? How many things are you trying to teach on day one? So like for me, an example yeah. is I'm trying to teach base alignment, one coverage. That, right. That's that's me. Right. So tell us what you are. How, how much do you truly want to to introduce on night one? Right. So so I'm gonna we're gonna implement three fronts. Okay, a four I zero four I. There's mm -hmm. one. Okay, a four I shade four I. Right. Whether it be the shades to the back or away from the back <laughs> or whatever it may mm -hmm. be. Right. And so it's it's not a, it's it's a different front, but it's not because you're playing still the four eyes, right? So part one was four eyes zero four I, the second one was four I shade four I, the third one is playing four zero four to where we're head up right now. 
Now, we're going to play the first one, the second one, nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to play four, zero, four, and we're going to play what we call jet, anyway, jet technique. But that's, that's, you know, I always like going, okay, here are our two bases. Here's where we're working to. So you give kids a goal, say, hey, by, by day one, or by day five, day six, we want to be great at this, okay? So three fronts that, that we want to put in, okay? The, you know, when it comes to a four-man stunt, all right, for us, and by the way, shameless plug, you can see this on uh, Cheap Pigskin on the, on the store about how uh, we implement our four-man pressures, okay, with our outside backers, okay, and, and then with our inside. But to start, we're going to implement two, okay, both from the strong or the nickel, our star, okay, okay just an edge rush, and then we're going to implement the other one weak with our jack, okay, all right? Then with that, we're also going to admit a five, five man pressure. It's 303 deep, like everybody in America, it's NCAA, fire zone, okay, nothing fancy, right? To where we're gonna put in, uh, you know, NCAA from the field, NCAA from the boundary, but also NCAA interior locks. So instead of, you know, long sticking the call, call side four I and the mics in the B and the nickels off the edge, now we're going to cop, what we call a contain on pass. We're gonna cop the four, the mics in the A, the nickels and the B, right? Okay, so it's too strong and too weak, mm. right? Okay, and then, then on the coverage wise, okay, we want to be. I'm going to get back to one more blitz we'll put in on the coverage wise. We're going to start drop eight, rush three, drop eight. And we're going to be zone match, okay, zone match quarters, right? Where we play palms to read like everybody in America's done for years and years. That's nothing new. But the second one we're going to play is the Narduzzi press quarters. Right, okay. and we're gonna press one. And we're gonna play up and out with two on the on, with the safety, right? And then our three by ones, we're gonna put in two for those. So we're gonna play poach or solo or whatever everybody calls it, okay? Where the free safety's got three vertical. Mm -hmm. Or then we're gonna play what we call noose, okay? Where we load the box, we're setting the box, we bring both safety, strong and free safety, over to play trips. We're still four over three, okay? With the corner safety, safety and nickel over three. And yeah, you want to, sure. you want to be, you want to verbalize all of that to the kids by night one. Yes. Okay. And, and, and that's the, you know, and that's, that's where, uh, you know, and hey, I'm realistic. I know we're not going to get all this in for, for an hour. I know that. Sure. Okay? It's sure. not going to look amazing. It's not going to look perfect. You're not going to spend clinic tape on it. Right. <laughs> but I want to get as fast and as furious as, and, as, and, as, and they may go home with their head spinning that night, but here's the deal. I would rather that than us go, okay, we're gonna put in one coverage today and then one coverage tomorrow, right? I wanna put in multiple things a day. You know, I know there's that that fine line of, well, what's too much, what's not, you know? For me, I always wanna be on the, the, the too much line mm -hmm. where I can take out to where we're yeah. getting into, into scrimmage and, and week one, week two, we're like, okay, that's not a good, let's scrap it, right? We're getting better at it, Yeah. okay? And so, but there's also one thing that I'm really a big, that I've become a big believer in the past couple of years is we're going to implement a blitz where we're going to bring a non-box count guy, meaning a corner or a safety, right? So we, so day one, we're going to run what we call crash, okay? It's corner blitz, right? Because that's the deal. For us, you know, everybody counts, you know, the, the D lineman, the mic, the wheel, sometimes the walk-off hacker, I get right. it. But nobody's saying, hey, we're going to block that corner out there, okay? Right. So for us, yes, we're bringing our two strong or two weeks, but we're gonna add a week from the corner, from the weak side boundary when you get the ball in the hash, okay? And I think it's really, really important that, that we do this day one, you know, because corner's like, hey, y'all go out there and y'all cover that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to kind of fool kids, hey man, we're gonna blitz you. Yeah. You're doing it day one, so now that kid's going, hey, we're, okay, I don't just have to cover that guy. Yeah, um, hey, uh, quick side question that, that I thought of. Yeah. When I've always, I talked to my dad about this. He's an old time coach. We always talk about what do your freshmen do? What do your freshmen do? And that kind of being an idea of, we feel like you can tell, like we know what the heart of a team is by what do their freshmen do. So I'm curious, what's like, what coverage are your freshmen running most often? Is that that yeah. is that two reads? Is that palms? It, well, and it, it depends on what year you ask me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure, uh, sure. You know, as we go through our cutups and our, and our self scout, it's like, okay, Palms of the year was this year, but now everybody's playing, you know, the press quarters is out there. 
right? So where it, it's great, and, and we can talk about that, you know, if you want to DM me at, uh, at Coach Gower. But um, for us, we're installing day one, freshman all the way to senior. Yeah. Okay. So our day one is stuff they better know on day 100. And it better be like the back of their hand by day 100. Yeah. We've right? got a quick question that came in here, Coach, from William yeah. Papp. Says, uh, would you run your varsity and JV install together yes. together yes. on day one? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you, you know, and, and I've, I've, as a coordinator, I've done this, you know, because that kid's one play away. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, right. your outside linebacker goes down, you better find an answer, you know. Um, and so so the answer is yes. Um, that, that our bar, you know, our starting corner and, the, and the, the JV corner, they're standing right next to each other. Yeah. Okay? So, um, and, and that's kind of the deal of, of, you know, you have those years where the injury bug just, it just nails you. You know, mm-hmm. So that, that kid was JV kid in August. Well, in October, week six, guess what? He's on the field for you. So, <laughs> Isn't that um, the truth? Coach Steve, I see your question. I'm going to come back to it. I feel like when I get when I, the time is right, when, if uh, we get back on to talking some four eyes. Coach, you said cover-wise. Um, let, let's just say on night one, coverage-wise, how much – what do you want to see from your scout offense, whatever you call it? What would you like to see on night one thrown at you? Yeah, you know, and, and, and it's kind of interesting, you know, where I've been, you know, at, in, the, in the the higher classifications of Oklahoma, Texas, you know, um, I don't lose sleep over run fits because everybody's in one back and two back. You know, I, <laughs> you guys up north, you know, I, I get guys who DM me on Twitter, Coach, how would you handle double tight eye? And I'm like – play with 13 guys, you know I mean? So, um, you know, the first thing I want to see is the stuff that, that our previous opponents have run. You know, like I said, it, every, I say everybody, everybody's in, in one back and two back and running running split zone and GH and, and throwing vertical shots and RPOs. I mean, so I don't lose sleep over run fits. I lose sleep over that guy over there is going to Texas and the guy across the field is also going to like Texas a mm-hmm. you know? And, and down here in DFW, you know, it, you can throw a rock and somebody's got a D, you know, he's got a D1 off. Right. Know? So um, that's the stuff that I'm like, how do we bracket that guy, you know, mm-hmm. or, or how do we load the box? Cause the running back has got power five all over, it, you know? And so, so for me, I want to see the stuff that, that is opponent based. You know, when I was playing high school 15 years ago, you know, it was, you know, everybody was 21, right? It, it was tied in two back mm-hmm. lead power ISO counter. You know, and and, and you know, everybody was was four or three, or they were in some type of, of hybrid fifty look. And, and so um, the game has evolved now again. Are there people who still get the twenty one? You know, do or die, absolutely, no doubt. But people we see down here, and like I said, in Oklahoma and in the, in the higher classifications, or you know, the, the the Saturday offenses, if you will. Yeah, sure, absolutely, Coach. When we go. Um... Let's talk real quick because we're we're in on our last five minutes. So let's just transition real fast to day one of official season, or let's say day one in pads. It's officially season. Give us an idea more so along the lines of installing a defense, or or how much are we going to see the culture of your defense? What how important is the culture of pursuit within your defense? How important is the culture of uh, being great tacklers or understanding leverage? Like how how and where do those things fit into your plan? Yeah, you know, early, early in the, I say early in the year, you know, and you've gone through spring ball, um, you know, you've worked without pads, obviously, but you've worked all the all the stuff, all the tackling angle drills in June and July, um, you know, and fit up on air. And, and I, so I think, you're teaching that, and nowadays you teach it year round. You know, all, right. all the, the tackling circuits and all the videos that are out there. But, you know, when it comes to day one of pads, you know, um, I want to see us block destruct. You know, I want to see us use our hands. I want to see us get off blocks. I want to see us come to balance, you know, seek our hips and, and take all the space out. You know, take all the space out of the, out of, the, out of, out of you know, tackler, me, tackler versus ball carrier, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and sometimes guys, you know, you make a great highlight tape and sometimes, that tackle, just get him on the ground, you know? And sometimes I think, you know, there's there's all the thoughts of, of rugby tackle and hawk tackle, and I, I get it, I get it. But for me, 
you know, like I said, we're going to be schematic. Okay. We got to find ways to, to, to beat you on the board, you know, cause that's a deal, you know, our the Jimmy's and Joe's. Yeah. Yeah. But I heard from a guy, um, our X's and O's have to be better than, than your Jimmy's and Joe's. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to say that also goes with, yeah, pursuit and tackling and all that other, that that is absolutely vital and absolutely important. And, and I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm different than anybody else in Illinois, New York, Florida, Texas, California. Um, but there are some drills that instead of just, Hey, we're going to chase the football over there and run angles. What's the, what's the significance? What's the reward they get afterwards? Right. Yeah. And so I, that's, you know, I know when I was playing high school and college and we did chase the rabbit, chase the ball drill. And I'm the backside linebacker running 50 yards away and I'm, you know, five minutes in the pressure, we're gassed already, you know? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to pursuit drill and tackling, yes, we do it. Absolutely. No doubt. But what's the fun, you know, and I've tweeted out a few things about some fun things that we do about odd man out pursuit, um, you know, big cat drill uh, that, that, that we stole from LSU long um, 10 years ago. Um, so that's kind of my philosophy in a nutshell about yeah. pass. They well, tell me that that one caught my attention. Tell me about odd man out pursuit. Yeah, so it's um, let's see here. I'm actually hold on. Let me find this. Let me, let me. Yeah. All right. Here you go. So if you will allow me to share my screen. Oh yeah. Let me see if this will work. I'm hoping this will work. Uh, let's see. Oh oh, I hit the wrong thing. Click and multiple guys can share. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Here's what we call odd man out pursuit. You good? See this? Uh, give me one second. I got to go switch my screen over. I can do this. I can do this. Give me a second. This is way easier when I'm not live. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, window caps. I'm almost there, coach. I'm almost there. So, if you listen, Odd Man Out Pursuit is where... You know, you got you got a kid. You you you're, you're coaching, right? And you got let's say five kids. Okay, five kids are on the goal line, and they're seat rolling, uh, right, left, left, right, etc. And there's five kids. Well, there's only four dummies. There's four dummies that they have to they have to tackle, right? Okay, and those dummies are strategically placed on 10, 15, the 20, and 25, right? So after we seat roll, and I seat roll them four, five, six, seven, 47 times, whatever. Now when the whistle blows, when the whistle blows, those five are going to sprint as fast as they can to those four dummies. So you're gonna have an odd man out, right? And so it's okay. pursuit, it's not chasing the backside of my of my brother, right? And it's also form tackle at the end, okay? Man, okay, coach, real quick. Yes. So I we cannot see this. So do me a favor, unshare your screen real quick. Okay. And before tomorrow night, we will, um, I'll have that video clip. I'll, we'll make sure you've shared it with me some other way yeah. so that everybody can see it. And Perfect. we'll just kick off tomorrow night with that exact Perfect. thing because as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I wanna see this. And I want everybody else to see this, so. I tweeted it out a, a long time. I mean, it's out there somewhere in the Twitter sphere, but um, I, I will definitely pull it up tomorrow night. Okay, okay. So in the meantime, I got to get my uh, other screen back up as we close things out here. Let's see. I, I significantly screwed up my whole thing. Hey, hey, I officially have it back. That took me forever. Okay, I'm going to figure that out for tomorrow night so we can start with it. I want to see this odd man out. Coach, closing thoughts to kind of kicking off an install like as, as anything we didn't touch on that you think is important in in getting your defense ready to go and 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 for your season right because there's way more coming besides night one yeah you know as much same as right relate the concept how much same as okay that it's 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 maybe a different word or a different term but you relate it to hey do you remember this yep well, it's the same as this, mm -hmm. okay? You know, that's how you're mold. okay? That's how you're able to build scheme, how you're able to build playbook, okay? Is this is the same as this. Now, does that happen 100% of the time? No, okay? But there are tons of ideas where you can say, concept A is the same as concept B, okay? Um, 
you know, it's like it's like our four man pressure. Okay, uh, you know, you know, shameless plug is is <laughs> when we bring a four man pressure from the field with our nickel. Well, guess what? It's the same blitz pass, same blitz departure, same idea. But we're bringing him from the field on a five man pressure. Okay? Right. So it's the same ass, right? Um, you know, and, and, and so that's. I think that's very, very important that, that you understand with your, with, with your coaches, with your kids, that you look up and go, whoa, this playbook is, you know, out and again, I've been at 10 different places and our, say my hour us playbook is, yeah. honest, it's lengthy, okay? Yeah. But I've always wanted to have enough bullets to fire. I never want to win, lose, drop in the, the night. I never want to say, dang, I wish I had more. Sure, absolutely. I'll tell you what, coach, I know coach Gardner, who's a buddy of mine, and I know is a fantastic coach out in Utah, also has stuff on the online clinic. Uh, he's right there with you, right? He, he, is, he was probably one of the first guys that was pushing me hard to do more. And, uh, of course, then, of course, as soon as I heard your presentation, it was, you know, I mean, you're truly pushing. Like, I feel like you're, you're saying, hey, respectfully, I get it. You, can, you get to do what you want to do. But I want to push you to do more. Like, you can do more. And uh, I feel in that push from you, from Coach Gardner. And uh, we saw in our... In action, our football team was unbeaten this year. We played, Illinois played in the spring. Uh, we've got a very good team. We went unbeaten, um, but we got in some close games and we needed some answers we didn't have. Uh, yeah. So I felt that pain firsthand. Um, guys, we're gonna kick off tomorrow night with that pursuit drill. I'm gonna make sure, co I, we'll find out how I can get a hold of that and we'll get it, I'll figure it out, right? Google's, Google's my best friend. We'll get that figured out. Um, we hope that you guys will come back and join us tomorrow night, 8 to 8.30, and we'll be live. We'll start with the Pursuit Drill. Uh, what else type of thoughts or concepts would you like to go from here, Coach? And, you know, you guys put the chat, you know, like I said, we're on front. You know, I, I've got a few clips. Um, you know, my, my, my boy Gardner, you know, we, we sometimes, about once every two weeks, we get we get on a, a Zoom and talk about nothing. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, like I said, I've got a few clips, a few things that I would love to give you. Uh, you know, that nothing, look, something I've stolen. Okay, so yeah. So let's all do the whole stolen bag, borrowed type of deal. Um, so you know, talking about how we structure our three four, but also you know how we bring it forth. You know, and, and people say, oh, you're bringing a fourth to get to four down. Yeah, we are. Well, who's going to cover him up? You're going to spin cover three. No, not exactly. And so that's kind of a, kind of the sleep on it. Soak okay. it in, you know, if you want yeah. to know more, come back tomorrow night. Let's go there next. And then Wednesday night, at least for sure, Coach, or some night. I, I don't know if you'd mind, but I feel like we could spend one whole night on three by one. Yeah, be happy to. You know, Because and, I'm, we're seeing it more and more, and um, defenses, it's like – I don't, it's almost like no one ever feels great about what they're doing against three by one. So it's just well, like, like keep exploring it. And that's where, you know, there was, there was one night, you know, we, we, we played and we had, we, we had 13 three by one checks that night. No kidding. Okay. And, and so, um, there were, there were 13 variations of two eye shell of, uh, and I don't mean like, oh yeah, we played cover zero, we played cover, no, no, no. I mean, there were 13 variations of, of too high or roll strong, roll weak to get to cover three, mm -hmm. okay? So I don't I don't mean like, oh, you know, he loaded the box plate zero. No, 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 that was not, that's not what I'm counting, okay? I'm counting 13 three by ones that were too high shell, or yes, we spun to the type of, of three look. Yeah. Okay? And so, I'm not going to be able to give you all 13, but I'll give you a few. Yeah. Um, well, cool. So. Well, we'll do that, man. We got a plan for the week. And uh, all you guys, thanks for joining us here. Look up Coach Gower on Twitter. I believe that's just at Coach Gower. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. Look him up on Twitter. Give him a follow. A great follow. Check out his materials on the on uh, our store. That link is below. Oh. And uh, we look forward my to boy seeing Gardner. you guys. My boy Go Gardner, ahead. he just tweeted He tweeted at you and at the Chief Pigskin um, about odd man out pursuit. And, and like I said, I tweeted, oh, this was tweeted out three years ago. So <laughs> um, this is back when I was at Norman North High School, back in Oklahoma. So um, Perfect. I can't wait to see odd man out pursue. And uh, Coach Gardner sounds like he's a fan. So that means it must be good. And Coach Gardner is very... He does not like to give out praise easily. He's hard to he's hard to impress. So I can't wait to see it. All right, coach. Good night to you. We'll catch yep. you tomorrow night at eight. Perfect, man. Thanks, brother. See ya. See ya.